PR rep Lurus here with another battle replace of the week. This time it is using a KV1S and I'm putting it with a friend. And in, in case you didn't see my information that I posted on the DMR Facebook page, I know I am a couple days late with this one that I essentially missed last week, but my plan to make it up is to do a second video this week, probably like Saturday, and then hopefully it'll become a regular Saturday thing from that point. But Let's go! This week then can also be busy, so we'll kind of see what happens with that. So right now it's kind of too soon to say, but that's currently the plan is to get this video today and then the another video on Saturday to make up for it. This video actually was only from a couple days ago, instead of going back to my other games. This video, I figured, was worth putting up because it kind of shows what two kv one s can do, even though one of them isn't fully upgraded. My platoon mate does not have the top 122 gun. He is using the... 76, which is the second best gun, that, the one that you should get before you get this top really good gun. But at this point, it's kind of an exploration of the map, trying to find people. Like, you figure somebody's down here, but it'll take a while in this video before somebody gets spotted. But my friend is coming over at this point because he wanted to go north so that we could split up, but you know what, what there was plenty of people going north and nobody's been spotted down here so we kind of figured that maybe we could route this corner working together at it and so obviously at this time we were on a voice chat system so we were communicating with one another and that's probably why you don't see anything clicking chat or whatever and now now he spotted somebody and then i roll down the hill and i don't know if he spotted these tanks or i Penetration. And they rounded the corner, but either way, now we know that there's guys down here. Well, we do have a couple teammates up on the ridge. Track hit. We're really Optics the only hit. ones down here dealing with this, and so we're immobilized. At this point, I can see that this guy is hitting me with heat gel, so I figured that he was. I don't know if I'm going to be concerned, but I'm scared the track. Get this going. tank over here would roll over the hill, so I turned my gun just in case. And I missed him or this tank earlier, but he missed me right there. So it's kind of beneficial, and honestly, I think we're kind of lucky that nobody, Enemy is hit. nobody pushed us, because I think they could have killed us had, like, all four of them pushed at us at the same time. Because while we did have some support on the hill, it wasn't the best support. At this point, the KV-1S, I'm loaded, the KV-1S is coming around. Enemy the vehicle destroyed! Is, came around and distracted that guy. So I popped him in the back, and then I decided that I would push this hill, because I see where they're backing up. So I'm reloading, trying to push them. Enemy armor is destroyed! And then, basically, I push this side. Well, my friend and the KV-1 teammate pushed backside, and we're not paying too much attention to the rest of the map. They're knocked out. Up being somewhat of a downfall later, but as you can see, that Hellcat. One of our gas tanks ruptured. We're low on fuel. Look at me, like he was looking at my teammate on the hill, and I think he did quite a bit of damage to my teammate because you'll see in a minute. Got him. The teammate on the hill is an M4 that is like almost dead. Then that guy gets blasted, and now I get shot in the back, and I'm wondering what the heck's going on. I thought I had teammates on the hill. So at this point, we recognize that there's a church hill behind us, and we decide we have a choice. We can either keep pushing and go for the base capture, or we can go back to base. But if you can see by the map, we can see that quite a few of them are in the north as well, so they kind of control the map. So we, and we were doing all right on the south with the, I believe it's the Stew and the KV-1. So we kind of decide, okay, we'll push back and help defend the base. And as you'll also realize later, our one VK is AFK, uh, is AFK and he's sitting on the base. 
So it makes it even more important that we went back to deal with this threat. And while neither of us get the kill on this Churchill, I, I get up here and I have the time to fire off a shot, but my shot misses and ultimately that costs me my <laughs> top gun for missing the shot on this guy. But well I well I missed my shot, at least he died. Which is the important thing. And we are back at the base to assist covering the northern flank. Because at this point, well, on our maps you can see that it doesn't look like they have moved in the northwest corner. They have moved up that line. Considering the fact that nobody has been spotted and all that it shows is the fact that where they were last spotted. But nobody has spotted them in a while, and so they have in fact moved, as you'll see here in a moment, that they'll be like right on our base, like three or four of them. Like see, that guy just appeared on our base. And at this point, we're both back up here now, defending this, and I really want to go kill the M4, because I know that I can one-shot him. But. As soon as I start getting over here, you'll soon realize that there are more tanks than just the M4, which of course makes sense. Usually if you see one, there's more, unless there's like only one person on the team left alive, or unless you know that there's a few people on the team left alive and you know where they are. But, it, so instead of shooting at the M4, I decide to use my shot on the KB-2 and I kind of panic shot and missed. I didn't take the time to aim, I was trying to back down the hill as I was shooting. And because of it I take a shot from the M4, but again this M4 is using We've lost a track. Gun. So the radio man is bleeding, thing, we can't rely on him. But doesn't do much damage, but because he pushed out it gets him killed. Right here. Let's go! He gets killed by my other the other KV1S, my friend that had an angle on the hillside. And then at this point. We can see that we're probably going to win. Enemy armor is damaged. We can see how the base is going. And so, I think we're at this point we we're more kind of sitting back and just letting them come to us. Grab a fire! We're dead for it. Everyone get out! I die right there because while I killed the KB-1, while I killed the enemy KB-1, he sets me on fire. But at this point, I'm, I'm just telling my buddy, stay away from that KB-2 because he'll decimate you. I'm trying to tell him to just keep backing up, like, just stay on the road and keep reversing, but make sure that if he gets on cap, you reset it, but he doesn't end up getting on cap because he tries to get the kill because he, as well as everyone else, knows the game over. And unfortunately, he does get the kill, but at least we get the win, and at least I got five kills myself, so I'll, I'll say that's a good game that between me and my friend, we had a six kill game as a platoon. Unfortunately, we both die, but we both got the victory and we both got a six kill platoon. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this game and hopefully, you'll subscribe to the YouTube channel for more later.